does not need the rules to please his father because the son pleases his father, listen to this, by virtue of who he is. The son, the only thing the son has to do to please the father is be who he is. I love you because of who you are. Before you ever say, okay, let me let me let me let me slow down. Let me let me listen. When you have a baby, when do you start loving your baby? When they make their first A? When they score their first touchdown? When they clean that room up? Or do you love your baby when you first lay eyes on the baby? Some would even say, I loved my baby before my baby was even born. When I was carrying my baby in my womb, I loved my baby. Before I ever saw my baby, I was in the store picking out clothes and, and picking out this and picking out that. Because I didn't know I never saw my child. I had an image of him in my heart. I had an image of him in my mind. And I was shopping based on the image that I had. I couldn't wait to see him because I loved him even before I knew him. Yes. All he got to do is be who he is. Yes, sir. And he has all of my love. Yes. If you got all my love, you got everything else too. Yeah. Hey, Lord. If you have all my love, mm -hmm. you got everything else. Yes. yes. I can't love you the way I love you and not give you everything else. The Bible says in the book of Romans, he said, if he did not hold back his son, will he not also with him freely give you all other things? He says, I can't give you the love that I've given you and hold back healing. All right. I can't give you, I can't love you the way I love you and not deliver your children. I can't love you the way I love you and not deliver you from what you're going through. If I gave you my son, also give you everything. Amen. Amen. The only thing you have to do is be who you are. Yes. He loves you by virtue of you being born again. Yes. You are the very apple of his eye right. because you have believed on Jesus. Yes. Because you have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. He has given all things to you. One scripture says you are accepted in the beloved. He loves you. He favors you because you have love on Jesus and so there is a liberty there. Yes. Okay. See, a lot of people think that they're blessed because they did something right. God bless me because I prayed all night long. God bless me because I went to church every Sunday. God bless me because I fed the home. The blessings of God are much greater than that. The blessings of God are much greater than that. Listen to this. You are blessed because of who you are. Mm -hmm. That's why you can say I'm blessed in the field mm -hmm. or blessed in the city. Mm -hmm. Because the blessing does not reside in the field or in the city. All the right. blessing is on me. All right. The blessing is on me. The favor of God is not in the field or the city. The favor is on me. Yeah. And the reason why I'm blessed in the field or in the city is not because that's where the blessing is, but because the blessing is on me. And so wherever I find myself, the blessing follows me because it's on me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, come on, we're going to deal with this. Yeah. This is what Abraham said. Abraham told Lot, he says, Lot, look up and find the place you want to go. He said, you choose where you want to go. And wherever you don't want to go, I'll go to that place. Mm -hmm. Lock the duck and put and pick the best of the best. Mm -hmm. The green mm -hmm. land with the water overflowing. He picked the best of the best and left the garbage for Abraham. Abraham didn't complain because Abraham understood that the blessing was on him. Mm -hmm. See, it can be a desert, but that's okay. Because once I get to the, oh God, once the righteous gets to the desert, the desert becomes a fruitful land. The desert cannot stay a desert when the righteous get there. Yes. Amen. That's a plan. Yes, thank you, Lord. The desert cannot remain a desert when the righteous show up. Yes. Because there is something on the righteous that will make it grow. Yes. 
Glory. Other people come around and say, you can't grow nothing over there. Mm -hmm. I don't try. Mm -hmm. You ain't got what I got. All right. All right now. You can't say that. You can't say that. See, you can't give that commitment. You can't say the truth. You can't do it. Other people will tell you that you can't do it. But that's because they don't have what you have. If you had what I had, then you would know what I know. I can make it live right here. Right? Yeah. Because what I need is on me. I'm bringing it with me. I'm bringing it with me. His favor is on me yes. because I am his child. Yes, sir. I am his child. Oh, I'm Come on, let, let me take you somewhere else. Oh, Jesus. Let's go to um, um, the book of John. Let's uh, search this out a little bit. Uh, uh, yes, the book of John, um, the gospel of John. Uh, let's go to the first chapter. Oh, God, you got to know what you got. 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 You're in trouble if you don't know what you got. The Bible says we have this, we have this treasure in an earthen vessel. Don't look at the vessel. The vessel is earthen. The vessel is regular, but inside of the vessel. There's life in the vessel. You know, 
the man who wrote the book of Revelation, John? The Bible says, that when you study the history of John, that it teaches us that there was a point, the reason why they called John the Revelator and they called him also Saint John is because John, they tried to kill John. They tried to kill, the way they tried to kill John was that they took John and put him in a pot. And they filled it with oil and lit the fire under the pot. And they tried to fry the man to death. And after the man had been in the boiling oil and the oil was gone, they looked in the big pot and John was still in there because they didn't understand that what John had on the inside of him was not of this world. What John had lives and abides forever, even in the oil. Yes, yes. Now what the doctor told you that you thank God can't bring you out? What the doctor told what you are carrying lives and abides forever. Yes. Satan's job is to get you to lose sight of what you carry. His job is to make you lose sight of what you're made of. And for you to start to judge yourself by natural things. Judge yourself by what you feel. Judge yourself by what you've seen, by what you've heard, by what you've been told. And now you're making decisions. Now you're laying up in a bed thinking about what somebody said. What happened to mama? What happened to daddy? But that's not you because you are born again. You are the everlasting seed. You are born from above. Yes. yes. My Lord, my Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. They said, they looked at John and said, what kind of man is this? And from that day forward, they said, he's, he's not just John. They said, this is Saint John. This is the closest thing to a God we know. We're going to call him Saint John because a natural man can't go through what he went through and still be on God. A natural man can't do what he just did and still be alive. Yes. Yes. They couldn't kill him, so they took him and put him on the island of Patmos. Can't kill him. So we're going to ask the lady him out there by, put him out there by himself where he can't, he can't find nobody to preach to. But John said, you know what, I may be on the island by myself, but let me get some pen and paper. John said, I was called up to the third heaven, and the voice spoke to me and said, everything you see out here, he says, write it down, John, because I'm going to use you to write the book of Revelation. You locked up in prison, but I'm going to send the word. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Because what's inside? John, go to first chapter. John, first chapter. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you got to know who you are. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not of this world. I'm not a sinner. I'm born again. Yeah. I've been raised from the dead. Yeah. I have been taken from death to life. Yeah. I'm not going to be taken. I have been taken yeah. from death to life. I have life. In him was life. Yeah. In him was life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In him was life. Yeah. Yeah. That life was the light of me. That light, that life that was in him is now my light. Oh God, the life that was in him is now the light of my life. It orders my steps. It shines before me. It shows me how to walk. It shows me how to move. It shows me how, it gives me the feet of my, oh my God, his light is my light. Yes. All my steps, Lord. Good, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. All right. Glory to First chapter, John. This is what it says. It says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Oh, God. Oh, I love the Lord. Yeah. The Bible says, without Him, what nothing that was, nothing that was made was made. Amen. What you crying about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you crying about? Everything you see was made by him. Yeah. Even the stuff that you don't see was made by him. Yeah. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, he says, no weapon 
perform the gifts, you will prosper. But when you read the chapter above that, he says the reason why the weapon that's been formed against you won't prosper. He says because when the iron stick was making the weapon, he said I was in the room with him. When he fashioned the iron, I was there. When he fashioned the iron, I was there. Nothing that was made was made without him. That includes your nasty supervisor. That includes the one who lied on you and talked about you. That includes the one that's trying to step on your neck. Nothing that was made was not made by him. He made it all. His hand is on it all. He says the heart of the king is in my hand. I turn it the way I desire to turn it. I don't have to be afraid of what man can do because I can boldly say the Lord is my help. Praise God. Not to be afraid of man when you when he made man. Yeah. Glory to God. The virus. The virus that's killing people. Mm -hmm. He made the sale. Mm -hmm. He made the sale. He made the sale. I don't have to be afraid. He made the sale. The sale. I didn't say he made the virus. I said he made the sale. Mm -hmm. Now the sale may have been mutated and man may have had his hand and created something that God didn't want to be created. But when I ever got here, it really doesn't matter to me because God made the sale. And if God made the sale, then everything is under his authority. Right. Amen. Amen. He says, verse number four, I love this. He says, in him, in Christ was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness. And darkness comprehended it not. Let me read it to you from the Amplified. I got to give that to you from the Amplified. You, 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 you lose too much of it if, if I don't do it. Uh, verse number five from the Amplified, this is what it says. It says, the light shines on in darkness. And the darkness did not understand it or overpower it or appropriate it or resolve it and is unreceptive to it. The Bible says in him was the light and the light, the darkness could not overcome it. The light that you have received, the light that you have been born of. Because listen, the verse above that verse number four says that he had life. And that light was the light of me. Yes. Oh God. In Jesus was life. In Jesus was life. What kind of life? What kind of life are we talking about here? There's different types of life. What, what type of life are we talking about here? In Jesus was life. Huh? We're talking about animal life. We talking about plant life. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what type of life? Uh, see, you got to you got to study the word of God. What the life of God in Jesus was the life of God. Oh my God! In Jesus was the life. Of God. And the life of Jesus was the light of the world. It was the light of men. Any man that came out of darkness, he came out by that light. Yes. Yes. Any man that received salvation, he came out by that light. That was the only light to bring man out of darkness. That's it. Everything else is just another version of darkness. Every other message, every other, every other um, uh, religion, every other doctrine, aside from the doctrine of Christ, is just another version of darkness. There's only one message that can save. There's only one name that can save. Yes. There's only one. It doesn't matter who else you call on and how loud you call on it. There's only one name that can save.